Our page, I'll be on your zone, but you guys together, I mean, you're a power, you're a power couple by together, but individually you'll be doing your thing. I just miss you guys together. Oh, well, that's nice. You just have to stop over here, and then you know how when you have two holes, and you know, I you have to go to one whole house, and then you have to go to your other whole house. Or something. Huh? I said I low-key was hoping it was like a publicity stunt to get the viewers up or, you know, whatever, but I guess it's real, real shit. Oh, yeah. That's okay. You can still enjoy the both of us. Well, I'm just calling to shout you out. I'm from the Virgin Islands. We love you. You worldwide. I know you all over. Oh, I got to come to the Virgin Islands. Thank you. You got to. Yes. Have a good night. Have a good night. You too. Oh, that was nice. Is you live, or is you called the roaster? You called the game. Hello, Kaya. Hey. It's me, Gray. I'm just here to let you know that I feel as though you are so wrong for what you see as Madison, and you need to just check yourself and look in the mirror and be like, what the fuck you are what I hear. And also... That was it, bitch. You won't give me no chance to... <laughs> <laughs> she said, bitch, you won't give me no chance to respond? Oh, Lord, Jesus have mercy. I said that I was done with that last week, so we ain't going to take too many more calls about that. I know people be in their feelings, but it's okay. It's okay. So, if, 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 is the Instagram going slow because I'm supposed to be going live on YouTube? I got some people that's supposed to be watching me on YouTube, so I'm trying to decide, do I want to just go ahead and go over there and save the video? I don't know. I don't want the gag to slow down um, as we're roasting and gagging, and then I'll be roasting the fans that's trying to call and tell me that the goddamn uh, internet is going slow. I need to go to YouTube. Look, I got a text. Aw. Is your live whore? Bitch, I'm motherfucking live whore. Yeah. I'm live ho. What's the tea? You calling the roast again? Yeah. I'm calling the motherfucking. I'm starting the motherfucking game. Give me the game. What I want to talk about is Cardi B. Cardi B. And why she got this motherfucking album on hold? I believe the bitch is smoking dick because I feel that like he's in competition with Nicki. Mm. She wanna be on Nicki dick. Mm. So her album on oh, her album on hold, and when Nicki album coming out? Yeah, uh, cause you know Nicki Minaj been missing it since December, and now everybody talking about well, Cardi, you know when you gonna drop your album because you know that Bow That Yellow play, it's played out, it's tied and through. Ooh, so y'all tired of Bow That Yellow and hearing her song played on the radio over and over and over? Yeah, so like she, uh, you know, I don't know what she got going on, but we. We need more music. So y'all think Atlantic done get off more than they can chew with Cardi B, or is she gonna be able to give 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 the people? Uh, I think it's gonna be a one hit wonder. Oh, I feel like Cardi, your music is better than Cardi B. Let's be honest. Oh Lord, I think we need to start the doc. So what one hit do she got? Oh, the caller done hung up. She go. Oh, I had to. You know, see, that's what gag order is about. We the people want to know, and we the people want to have a voice and be heard. And we the people, see, this when you come back to the queen's chamber and the queen take off her robe after she done tried cases all day, and I come back here, you got to have money to come back here. You know, you want to come in and present your case. You know, y'all giving the real tease in, in the queen's chamber. I'm going to let y'all go and keep on roasting the gag and since y'all roasted the gag. Oh my God! Wait, is you live or is you calling the roast or is you calling the game? Hello, this is this is Brandon again. Um, I heard that you said that you hung up, dialed something in your face. Is that you? Did because you? Because last time I checked, I called you and you hung up in my face because you can't handle my motherfucking mouth. Oh, and that's your problem. So, like I said, you are nothing without TS Madison. So stop acting like you are. And you know, you just sit down and sit your old ass down and get your fucking teeth fixed. You crooked teeth asshole, and that's just that. Period. That's it. No, you done. Like that. You done. Girls, I already can see that you're an amateur roaster. You talk slow and you can't even get your words out as fast as me, bitch. So you know you I can't hear you. Thank you. You can't hear. Yeah. So you know you'll get roasted down to the ground, girl. You ain't no professional roaster, so you can't call the queen's court trying to roast the queen. Next caller. She hollering and you need to get your and you need to go back and you need 
Girl, I gave you your five minutes. You 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 talk. She, girl, when you a professional roaster, you got to be able to let it roll off your tongue quickly. You can't be sit, girl, and and you need to sit and you need and you need and your tea, girl. Next caller, you got to be a professional roaster. I said, you know, y'all say I don't be letting the calls get through, and I be hanging up on people, and I talk loud, and I roast them down so quick. So tonight, I'm going to try to let a few people get through so y'all can hear. They roast a little bit because, you know, the queen, I'm a professional roast. So, you know, when I cuss a bitch out, it's, you know, so this, 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 this little shit that, that they calling to do, you got to be ready when you call into the queen's court trying to roast Kaya Domus. You can't be calling with that bullshit. And you heard what I said? And did you say that? I don't and did you? Let's get it clear. You, I, I called you and you, girl. See, that's how that whole was with that. Well, what about the bus stand fraud? It's like, girl, you can't be in the suburbs trying to roast a hood, bitch. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. You can't be all prim and proper and, you know, you you just can't do it. You can't be an English teacher and try to roast a hoe that, 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 that is country slang on your ass. You know, it just ain't going to work. You know, so, you know, <sighs> next caller. I, I said I was going to try to go over to YouTube. To go live, to go to to go over the docket. I'm gonna let some of the calls get through so we can roast and gag. You already know I'm a playful troublemaker. I play with words. This is this is gag order. So some of your faves might get roasted. I don't want you to take nothing personal. I don't need you all in my timeline, up and down, leaving them long ass paragraphs because I don't read them. Um, you will be blocked and deleted. We the people versus Fifty Cent. We're going to go ahead and start the docking here tonight. 50 Cent, you are being charged with going hard at the wrong time. 50 Cent, they said that you said uh, some shit about Ricky Ross. And, 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 and I felt like you, you, you going hard at the wrong time. We all are, are praying for, one, uh, 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 for Rick Ross to, to have a speedy recovery. And, you know, you roasting the gag at Rick Ross. And I feel like you need to simmer down because you're going hard at the wrong time. So word on the street is you holler Rick Ross me around here fucking and sucking on sour puss and he didn't want to take his prep medications and you know he's shriveling up like a prune, foaming at the mouth and in the hospital and you hollering if he must die, he must die. If he must go, he must go. Uh, you know, we already know you don't give a fuck about Rick Ross. We already know when you put the video up with his baby mama getting fucked on the porn video. You, t you showed up at his mammy house with groceries. and I just felt like that was a bit harsh for you to be trying to roast Officer Ricky when he's going through uh, everything that his baby mama said that he was going through. You know, he had his baby mama on the show and his baby mama said that he was having health problems. Uh, 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 a few months ago when she said that he was in the hospital about to croak and here it is he still had not called his son and he's back in the hospital and you you know you're taking this you know this time when he's you know fucked up in the hospital to roast and gag and I just feel like you're going hard at the wrong time so I'm gonna put a gag order out on you 50 cents um, I don't want you to say anything else about Rick Ross. I heard that he has been sent home from the hospital. He's now at home, but he's still on a ventilator, lung, and heart machine. So, uh, you know, we're going to pray and, 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 and for a speedy recovery with Rick Ross. And I'm going to keep my one good eye on you, 50 Cent. This, this good eye, not the lazy eye, the good eye. I'm going to keep it on you. And um, I want you to keep Ricky Ross lift it up in prayer. I don't want you roasting on this is 50. But I do wonder how that hospital waiting room was looking. You know, you know, when a bit when a nigga be about to die, all the hoes start showing up. Baby mama start showing up, the download trades, the sisters and functions been fucking start showing up. Everybody who y'all think was in the waiting room when they got when they heard on TMZ and the radio station down there in Miami that Ross had them fell out foaming out the mouth. Who was he in the house with? When he fell out, was he? Who called nine one one? I want to know who was in the house with uh, Officer Ricky when he fell out at two thirty seven. Was it three fifteen or two thirty seven? In the wee hours of the morning, twirl hours of the morning when he fell out. I want to know who was that called 911. I want to know was he twirling with Officer Ricky or was Officer Ricky twirling by himself 
or was he taking his diet pills because they say that he had been on diet pills and he wasn't taking no modern lean Percocet or no kind of pills. He has been on diet pills only. He, um, they don't know why he fell out foaming out the mouth at 3.15 in the morning, uh, a.m. But uh, uh, I want to know who was in the house with him. Did that person ride in the ambulance with him when they got down there, down there to the hospital? And then I want to know who all was in the waiting room cutting up. You know, because you know, when, when, when they think somebody about to die, they want to, people want to go to saying, I want the car, I want the house, I'm his baby mama, I got cheering from him, I know him, I suck his dick, I sold dope for him, you know how niggas do, you know how the funeral and the repast and the hospital be. So I wish I could have been a fly on the wall in that waiting room, but, 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 but 50 Cent, I'm going to just send this, I'm going to put a gag order on you. I don't want you to say nothing else about uh, Ricky Rose and, 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 until he pulls through this. And um, again, I'm going to keep my good eye on you. And we're going to move right along. We the people versus Stevie J. Stevie J, you are being charged with failure to pay your pussy bill by owing $1.3 million in child support. Stevie J, you know I love you. Put the glasses on when I say it because you know I love you. Uh, now, this case would have normally been handled in state court, but, uh, you know, since you refused to pay your pussy bill, it is now in, in, in federal court because you owe $1.3 million in child support. Uh, all you new bitches that just had a baby from Stevie J in the past year, let's say the past five years, because Stevie J always been slanging that muscle dick, and, and we all knew that he been had a bunch of children that had been delayed in his child support payment. So, this ain't nothing new. Um, I don't know uh, why he has not been paying his pussy bill because I feel like this is just about a pussy bill because he's been slinging that dick and beating at them pussy walls. I don't think these baby mamas would really be complaining because they all getting food stamps because I buy them, uh, you know, and I send them money every month through cash out. So they be churn eating and, and uh, 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 Stevie J make sure they got Jordans and, and they, you know, he go by there and visit them so they, they know they daddy. So I just feel like this is because he hadn't paid his pussy bill. Uh, that uh, y'all pushing the issue and now the feds done picked it up so it's out of my hands. Uh, you know, I can't rule on this case because it's a conflict of interest. I got, I got love for Stevie and Jocelyn and all the, the rest of the baby mamas. So, so I can't really try this case. But Stevie J, all I can tell you to do is pay your pussy bills. If you ain't got this money, go ahead and dick or do. You know your dick everywhere. They, they like how it look. It's pretty. You know, there ain't nobody beating walls like you. So just go on over there and do what you need to do and, and have them not show up to court so you can you can get out of this. Next case. How Stevie J owe 1.3 million in child support? That's a lot of money. We the people versus uh <laughs> Janet Jackson. Uh, we the people sent some information on the docket with Janet Jackson. They say Janet Jackson has been having a mental meltdown or a midlife crisis. 50 year old. I'm tired after 10 minutes on stage and I can't do do it like I used to. Down. I don't know exactly what Janet is going through. She's going through a divorce and custody battle with a child. Her toy ain't selling. Uh, you know, she's going back with fucking Jermaine. And now she's requesting a removal of her brother Michael's memorial uh, things from in front of uh, in front of the house or in front of the street or somewhere down there in Indiana. She done called the city of Indiana to remove all the teddy bears, balloons, and candles that's up and down her mammy street because every time she go to her mammy house, she can't get through because everybody there with teddy bears and candles and balloons and memorial posters for Michael. And she wants y'all to leave that, let that be, in, and let Michael rest in peace. She's tired of the streets being flooded with you niggas and, and, and everybody else that's out there lighting candles and, and doing and all kind of seances and all saints and, and, and praying over Michael, wanting Michael to come back. Michael gone. Okay? Janet wants y'all to come and retrieve your bears, take your candles back home, stop letting balloons go in front of Catherine's house. She back home. She ain't over there in Iraq or Israel or Dubai or wherever she was. She back home with Catherine and she can't get through the street because you niggas is down there letting balloons loose 
and 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 and, and bringing it monkeys, uh, 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 bears, and and and, and 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 candles and shit all up and down her mammy's tree. Janet is tired of looking at y'all now. She done told the city to remove the shit. The city done came and remove the shit. Don't go back down there putting no more shit up. If you want to do a memorial, set up an altar for Michael. Set your own altar up at the house. Jenna don't want you flying out to Indiana putting nothing else on Kepner Street. She back at the house, back in her old room that Joe used to sneak in. And 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 she tired. Let Michael rest in peace. And and, I, and I'm a rule in, in Janet's favor because she want to retire in peace. She want to retire. She tired of looking at you motherfuckers. So stay off her street. If I catch your ass down there on 2800 Jackson Street, I'm going to lock your ass up. Okay? For trespassing. You don't belong there. Don't keep your bears at home. What, what that bear was that Michael had, keep him at home. What, the, the little monkey, keep him to keep him at your house and pray. Don't let, I'm going I'm to I'm rule in Janet's favor on this because she's going through enough. And if I catch your ass in 2800 Jackson Street, I'm locking your ass up. Next case. Y'all know she need plenty of rest and relaxation. Station. Jen is an old hoe. She can't be out there like she used to. She ain't got time for all that noise. Y'all see Anna. Every time she look out, I wonder. Y'all, y'all leave Jen. Next on the docket, Mariah Lynn, bitch, you on the docket. They say you was hiding through down there in Charlotte, bitch. And and, and you already know the queen hot with you for stealing the likeness of my song. And now I'm a roast your punk ass for jumping in the shit you know nothing about. Okay? Once upon a time, not long ago, you was a hoe, and that was like a week ago, okay? Don't be jumping in nigga shit. You still white. Just because you sucking black dick don't make you black. Don't make you bold. Don't make you strong. Don't make you just because you fighting with weak ass hoes on love and hip-hop. Don't make you think you can ever try to come for the queen. I'm going to give you a pass, bitch, because your mama's on that shit, and you going through a lot, too. So I'm going to tell you right now, you better simmer down. Snow White. You want to, you 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 want to, you want to, you want to roast and get in this LGTB shit, and you went down there, and you couldn't even deliver. I seen your manager down there in DC. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about because he wasn't talking about no money. If it ain't no money, no food stamps, and no gold, I didn't understand what the fuck he was at. What the fuck he was talking about? Then here you go, want to talk shit on your Instagram for likes and clicks and views, bitch. I don't know you. I don't give a fuck about you. I just want my money for you sampling my goddamn song. Stay out of black folk shit. You ain't black. You don't know what's going on. You didn't talk to me. So don't be listening to that bullshit online, jumping in nigga shit that your white ass can't get your, your, your ass can't get yourself out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to require you to go to mommy and me classes because instead of you worrying about me, you need to go worry about your mammy and her motherfucking problems and build that relationship with your mammy. Stop worrying about me and this LGTB shit because, bitch, that shit is dead. Casket closed, case closed, casket dropped. That bitch is dead. That shit is dead. Okay, here you go still talking about it next case. I'm sick of your motherfucking mouth, bitch. Let your shit go. Keep the queen name out your mouth when you're ready to call me and give me my royalties for the percentage of the song sample that you did. We can talk about that. Other than that, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Case closed. Next case. Let's take a call. As you call the roasters, you call them the gay. Yeah, honey, I can hear you now. You can hear me, Granny. Where are you calling from? Hello? Can you hear me? Honey, I can see you now, Kaya. You can see me and you can hear me? Huh? You can see me and you can hear me? Yeah, I wanna know why you talking T.S. Madison. There you go, bitch. Goodbye. Next case. Next on the docket, we gon' it, it's Safari. Next on the docket is Safari. Safari say while promoting his single and stroking his eggplant that Nikki was physically and verbally abusive to him. You heard me say while he was stroking his egg. <laughs> I hear talk about he getting condoms and dildo deals. Hell, he need to turn Mandy Madhorn on to them condoms and dildo deals because she got a big dick too. But Safari got a big dick and he's stroking his egg plan and he's trying to promote his new single. And he talking about Nikki was physically and verbally abusive. From my recollection, I heard Safari used to be having Nikki in the hotel room hollering and screaming. I don't know if it was from that big dick or if it was because he was going upside her head. But now since he's promoting the single, he want to holler about Nikki was physically and verbally abusive to him. 
So why you ain't just beat her in the bed and beat her in the head with that big dick you got? When she was going upside your head with her little fist, you should have just started going upside her head with that big old dick. Just, you know, made her exercise that neck. You know. But your dick is big, but evidently your hip motion. See, size don't matter. It's the hip motion. It ain't good, cause that bitch on Love and Hip Hop, what's her name? What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the bitch name on Love and Hip Hop? New, uh, 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 LA that got the dick and then want Safari went to pussy and was wanted the bull dagger more than she wanted Safari. So Safari, your dick was so big, Nikki Baby didn't want the dick. Nikki Minaj didn't know Nikki. Oh, Nikki, you so fine. You so fine, you blow my mind. Didn't want your dick, Safari. So it don't matter how big it is, evidently it ain't good and evidently it ain't no motion in the ocean because them hoes ain't staying I know a big dick nigga right now I don't give a good goddamn. that dick was good I ain't got nothing bad to say about that I ain't going upside his head if I was I wasn't leaving him I wasn't going inside his head and them hoes head I wasn't let them hoes know bitch that's my dick I love them Bitch, I'm going upside your head, his head. That's what you do about good big dick. You don't leave big good dick. So, you know, if I left the big dick bitches because the dick one good. And if all the niggas done left Safari, it don't matter how he keeps talking about his phone got half, that he got nieces and aunties and all that carrying on, he'll never do that. We all know you're trying to promote a single, and Nikki ain't physically or verbally abused your ass. You was writing all her shit. Why would she beat you up and cuss you out, and she needed you? Bitch, she still want to be your friend now. Hell. Hell. Next caller. Is you calling the roast or you calling me that? I called and said, we're not going to let a dick down again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the so bar like a little dick every now and then because only the niggas is looking at that dick he keep posting online. That's right. He know it. Oh, much love, baby. Yes, girl. Do your body clean, Kanye. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 Child Safari know we ain't looking at that. Ain't nobody but niggas that's on Jack then. Christian Mingle, bitch, them. They the ones that's looking at Safari D. Don't nobody want to see Safari D. And I don't believe that Nikki physically or verbally abused you, so I'm going to throw this case out. Let's open that case. Let's see what it is. Is you live, ho? Damn, you hot? Is you live, ho? Is you live, ho? ho? Is you live? I just want to say one thing. Yes. Can I get this off my chest, please? <laughs> Can I drag you real quick? Get me. Okay, listen. I'm infatuated with yes. you. Yes. I'm satisfied with the things that you okay. really want. Yes. Please yes. yes. be alone so you can <laughs> dig my time. Yes. You know what? I'm gonna do Love Lock Slide. You're giving me Kareem for on that song, and that's one of my favorite songs. Oh, that's my favorite song, too. And I'm gonna be doing yeah. Love Lock Slide with the band and do it live so the fans can come out and meet and greet. Because everybody wanna see the band. You know, a lot of people don't know about that side of the Queen. Yes, Queen, but do you remember when you come, came and hung out with the girls in DC at the W Hotel? The girls say you homophobic. Yes! You know, we turned up in D.C. and went and got life with the white queen and everything, child. Yes, yes. The queen been showing love to the LGTB community for so long. I don't give a fuck what they say. Exactly. Yes. At the end of the day, the queen been had hits. The queen gonna keep winning and you keep roasting the gag and let me get out the horn so I can get back and watch you. <laughs> get money, bitch! Get money, bitch! Yes! Good night, baby. <laughs> yes! That's mine, too. Y'all motherfuckers want to act like a bitch, bitch, that all of that's fine. That's fine. Get money, bitch. Bitches, you tired through and delay. All that's fine. Next caller. Next up on the docket, we got Kylie Jenner. 
Y'all calling. Y'all don't want us to talk about Kylie Jenner. We the people want to know why Kylie uh ain't showed that baby. She been taking butt naked pictures already. She all on the boat drinking at 20. We seeing Travis Scott. Uh, but we ain't seeing them with the baby. You know, usually when people just have a newborn baby, we see them with the baby. So Kylie Jenner, you are being charged with hiding your pregnancy and not knowing for sure who the pappy is. I went on Travis Scott pages and everything else. I ain't seen no, I'm a new daddy. Congratulations. No picture of him at the hospital with the, with the medical band on his wrist saying my first daughter. He ain't got no blue cigars. You know, his homeboys done say congratulations. I ain't seen none of that. He ain't post no pictures with his daughter. He ain't stormy. Kylie been posting pictures of her freshly tummy tucked belly and her freshly lifted breast after the baby was born, but she didn't post no pictures of him and her and the baby. So is that really Travis's baby or was that Tigger's baby? Because y'all already know I felt like she got pregnant too fast after Tigger and she got with Travis and then 30 days later she was pregnant. So I really was always, the, the, the jury was out on that with me. But now that the baby has been born, do y'all think that Chris put a gag order out on Travis and said, nigga, you don't have enough money? And I want to pay you to let this story ride. This is really, really Tigger's baby. Because Kylie was always jealous of Black China And her playing around with Little King. It always made her want to have her own child. And she got pregnant from Tigger right at the breakup. That, that story sounds a little more juicy to me. I don't know if it's true. This is all allegedly. But, you know, Chris is quick to say, bitch, sign this non-disclosure. Don't you say shit. And we'll pay you a million dollars to go along with this story. But you'll never get my daughter's money. You're not good enough. You're not rich enough. And you're black enough, but not black enough for us to claim you and um, sign this paperwork. God damn, Chris. Chris, you know I want you to be my manager. I love Chris. Out of all of the Kardashians, I love Chris. I love Chloe's boldness and strength when it comes to us. So, so she's going to take up all. I like that even though she didn't take up I'm a hush because she pregnant but do you think Chris made Travis sign something or why is he not happy in fatherhood or showing any pictures of Stormy or holding Stormy the baby is real high yellow the baby ain't got no tan yet you know he a black ass motherfucker why the baby ain't came out at least my color god damn I don't know you know Tickle's a high yellow house nigga I don't know. Is it really Tigger's baby or is it Travis' baby? And if it's your baby, nigga, why you ain't happy jumping for joy? Showing pictures of the hospital bracelet. Because most niggas go to the hospital. They keep that bitch on for a few days because they know they got to go back and forth to the hospital. What's really going on? We the people want to know, Kylie, you know, is Tigger the daddy or is Travis the daddy or is another nigga the daddy? So I'm going to order jaw swabs for all you motherfuckers. Bring them jaw to me. Bye. I want to know.
driving. And goddamn it, I, I'm, I'm sending to you also to some all black Melica glasses with the big rubber band, bitch, so you can see with an extra mirror on the side of that bitch, so you can see out your blind spot, motherfucker, while you driving. Mm hmm. Your motherfucking ass blind and can't see, but like I said, you can smell them. You can find that pussy, motherfucker. I don't want to get, you ain't getting off of the Queen's Court. You need to come see me, motherfucker. And every time I see your ass from here on out posting a promotional picture, you better have on them big, thick glasses with that rubber band, motherfucker. And, and I ain't got to worry about you having no more children because you need to bring them balls to me. Blind ass motherfucker. Y'all trusting this bitch to drive and the nut in you. What kind of horse is y'all? What the hell wrong with y'all hoes? Y'all just, y'all just, y'all money hungry, thirsty hoes. See the nigga blind. Your motherfucking ass still trying to get the check. Still trying to secure the bag. I tell you. Keep on fucking these hoes. Keep on. Next caller. Is you calling the roast or you calling the gag? Ain't nothing going on. Next caller. Y'all gone. Uh, spring is almost here as y'all know time go back next week i'm gonna blame the flu shot on a lot of shit that your hoes had going on I shit that you bitches is doing out here y'all bitches took the flu shot this year y'all fucking fuck niggas stealing in line claiming shit don't belong to y'all walking backwards and shit talking backwards the only thing y'all hoes do Is you live, boy? Everything I don't know what's going on. Hello? I don't know what's going on, but we're going to have guys would like to come out and be a part of the show, present cases and meet and greet with the queens. Make sure you come out. Um, the Queen's Court will be in Jacksonville, Florida on April the 27th. The Queen's I can't wait to hear your roast and gags. If you want to bring your witnesses, if you want to present your case, if you want to be a part of the jury, we got the livest jury booth in all the land. You can smoke your roof or you can drink your drinks and you can motherfucking let me know if they're guilty or not guilty. If it's a hung jury and if the queen need to send us that ass. So make sure you come out to be a part of the live come out and meet the queen i can't wait to meet you guys it's live gag order and it's going down what was the next case next case on the docket we got jill scott
<laughs> you know what? This is another thing. We the people. That's why this shit is interactive. Y'all already know. Team Kaya. Fuck everybody else. You know the haters tune in, but fuck them. Team Kaya. Y'all been here with me from the beginning since MySpace. Since I was. Uh, since Pete Weezy fuck ass. Um, so y'all know I don't mind letting y'all be a part of the behind the scenes. Y'all remember the behind the scenes when you deserve it when the goddamn beast. Dog, signing my name on the CD, mailing them bitches out, going and mailing out hundreds of CDs a day. Like now, CDs is like obsolete, but it I can't. Like, bitch, it's Kaya, Kaya, bitch, what's up? Like, you know, all in hoods, niggas wouldn't even go in selling my CDs and. You know, signing my name on the Give and Remember Big and signing my name on t-shirts. You know, so all, shooting my own video. With this, bitch. I'm live for my fans. If this shit work, it work. If it don't end, what? Bitch, you a part of the gag, motherfucker. Because we live, motherfucker, and shit gonna happen. But it's like for all of my entrepreneurs, my artists that's out there, um, you know that... I had to get that off my motherfucking chest because a lot of people been like, oh, we want to come out and meet you. Oh, we want to come. We want to do this. We want to do that. And I'm like, well, come out and meet Lot. Come out and meet the But that don't mean I won't buy them. <laughs> but that don't mean I won't buy them stamps from your motherfucker that's giving me some dungeon scribes. <laughs> okay, so that. I'm Jill Scott, you are being charged with bullying. I was like, damn, Jill, you know what I'm saying? You whooping ass and kicking ass. I know they say women from Philly is hard, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know you was kicking ass and taking days like that. You got your baby daddy scared of you, you and your mom and your grandma. Y'all worse than the old lady game. What the hell going on? Child, you've been charged with assault and battery, 
well, let's say assault and drunken battery. Jill, we seen the video with you drunken in the Cootie Brown. Your baby daddy done filed all kind of restraining orders on you. Say you've been kicking his, kicking his ass and going upside your head. Damn sure can't be going upside a nigga head when you the breadwinner and he gonna get all of your money like Kim do. Can't get right. Got all Mary J money. Y'all already know I heard that they settled. They not gonna be going to court and to trial on the case. Uh, Mary J, uh, Kim do wanted a hundred and something thousand a month, but he settled for 30,000 a month. And Mary gonna continue to take care of his two children that he had before they got married. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go out and see it and let's let the movie be a bit. You know, y'all niggas always been the ones that have spend the most money. Y'all won't, y'all, y'all, y'all won't buy no no house or no land or no property or no diamonds and rubies, but y'all. Cardi B, Cardi B. She was another one that was on the docket. Everybody was a little upset with Cardi B. As you see, we had a caller that was saying Cardi B's album got pushed back. They was mad with Cardi B.